Next up in 5.5a, we did a circular pattern in a sketch. Then if we didn't skip it, we did a circular 3D feature. And now we're going to do another circular pattern 3D feature with these ribs in our Automobox tire. The first thing to do, new part file, start 2D sketch. I'm going to use the YZ plane to match the angle that they have, the orientation. So we need a circle. The dimensions we are given, unless you have your own, total outside diameter of the tire is 1.65. Double middle mouse click. And then we are given the thickness of the tire. So that means we need the offset tool. That inner diameter is offset by 0.1. So just bring your cursor in without clicking and type in 0.1, or you can dimension it later. Now, that's all we need for now. We're going to finish sketch. We are going to extrude that. They just tell us, you know, make sure you click on the outer diameter here. They tell us to use your own measurements. I measured to be about 0.55, and it says to use, and this is important, a, a symmetric extrusion because everything is going to come out from that center plane. Now, we need that sketch again, or we could project geometry into another sketch. So to share that sketch, I'm just going to drag it out of extrusion 1. And I'm going to go into sketch 1. And I'm going to finish off this sketch here. We need this inner circle to create where the ribs actually are. And then we need to cut everything away except for that little rib. So we need another offset circle from here. And this is offset by 0.03. thinking project geometry might have been better. Now we need to create some lines. So I'm going to create a line here. Now what you can do is you can see how it says 10 degrees. The distance isn't so important but we really want to come to this inner circle here. So just kind of snap it to that and then hit tab. We want 4 degrees. We could create a construction line down the middle and go four degrees from that, but we don't need to, hopefully. So let's mirror that on the other side. Just kind of get it way out here if you have to. Be careful what your ant trails are leading to. So I'm going to type tab and then four. It should be 0.725 according to our, instru according to our measurements. Now if you're snapped somewhere else, as long as you have Really, as long as you have an 8 degree gap between your two lines, you should be good. Hit Escape. Now, it did create this construction line in here to measure our 4 degrees from. That's okay. I'm just going to delete that if I can. Got to do it twice. Then I want to use the Trim feature to get rid of all the stuff we don't need. So we don't need this. We don't need this. Nor that. So we're left with this little rib here. Now let's finish that sketch and let's do another extrusion. We need to find that little rib there. We want to do another symmetric, that way everything's lined up. If we change anything it'll stay lined up. We do not want the full width of the tire though. I got it to be about 0.4. Now, we have this shared sketch here. It's kind of making everything ugly. So I'm going to go in here to our shared sketch, and I'm going to click on Visibility. We don't have to look at it. Now, we need a work axis through the center of the circular edge, is what they tell us. We could simply use our whatever axis that is. That's the, that's the x-axis to revolve around or to do our circular pattern. But actually, at least in 2017, you can click on any cylindrical surface, and it knows. You know, It just takes the center of that. So, we need 15 ribs, so we come up to a circular pattern. 
It doesn't know what feature we want because we have multiple features, so you got to click on the rib. Now it's, and that's all we want, so now it doesn't automatically move on. We need to click on rotation axis. We can simply click on this, and then we need 15 of those ribs. And then we have that. Now there's one more thing that we can draw here, and that is this little tiny extrusion through here. Let's use this shared sketch again to create a thin extrusion. 0.01 was my guess. It's kind of difficult to measure. If you use 0.01, then I gave you a surface area. You can check for to see if you have did it the same exact way I did, assuming I did it right. So let's go back into our shared sketch. And let's just draw. Let's do an offset circle from here. And let's try. You know what? It's pretty much the same as this. So let's snap it to our rib. We can. It's not snapping to it, so let's just get close. Maybe a little less, if anything. Not sure it's why it's not snapping. Finish sketch. Extrude. And that did not work. Well, I don't know what happened, but I just tried it again. Let's see if we can make it work. It's probably a good idea to make this visible again. So let's go back in the sketch Let's see we still have that circle there you can redraw it snapped to the next time I tried it to the center of that so now if we hit extrude now this is still the same circle as last time so undo so you see that disappear there we go okay so Circle, find the center of that, that should work. Still invisible though, so, because I undid that. So let's extrude that, now we can select just that circle. We want it symmetrical, don't forget that, and again I did 0.01, looks pretty decent. Now we have that rib there, now I'm going to go back and make that invisible. And now you can see that little rib there. Make it green if you want to. Here's be the color. And then let's see if we got the service area right. 6.923. File save as. And this can go into your Automoblox folder. That's the active project. I'm just going to call it 5.5a tire initials.